Welcome to our Yellowfin video on how to do quick sorting in the chart builder. Yellowfin allows you to have a sort order for your table as well as a different sort order for your charts. So I've actually started to create a report so I can demonstrate this for you. I'm just in our report builder page at the moment and I've already started to create a report. So you can see here I've brought in demographic field, region and athlete counter. And currently this is just sorted in alphabetical order according to the demographic column and the region column. Now for a table of data this is a perfectly good way to sort it because it makes it nice and easy and clear for the user to be able to read. However, when I go to put this into a chart, this may not be the best way to have that order. So I want to show you now how we can actually apply a different sort order to the chart. So we'll move now to the chart builder. Now this option is available either using auto chart or if you do select your own chart type, it also works exactly the same way. For today's example, I'll just show you auto chart. So I'm going to drag the columns in. I'm going to do the demographic as my horizontal axis and my athlete counter as my vertical. And I might even add an element of colour to this using the region. Okay, so what you'll see here is that this has replicated the data that is within my table. And it's popped the data in the same order. Now if I want to change this order, I can actually really easily do this. Uh, so this is my horizontal axis, so when I come to the field in here, I'll see a little arrow and when I click on that I get this little drop down menu. Now these are some quick little shortcuts for you to help you do a few different areas. We're going to focus on sorting. So with sorting uh, there's two options or two areas where you can adjust. The first one is the sort by. This allows you to choose how exactly you're sorting it and then the sort option at the bottom is whether you're doing this in ascending or descending order. Starting at the sort by it defaults to data order, which means it's the same order as what you created on the t in the table of data. I can change this to be alphanumeric, which will now update our axis to be in alphabetical order. Uh, because demographic is also linked to an org reference code, I am getting the org reference code option here to use that custom sorting option. So when I put it into that order, we'll now see it's sorted using the custom sort method. The last option is to sort it by the series, and this is actually the one that you might use most often. Uh, this actually allows me to say, sort this according to the number of athletes that I have, so according to the metric that I've used. So now, here we go, it's now sorted the total amount of the column in ascending order. Don't forget you've got the option here as well to change that sort. So I might want to see the largest demographic first, so I'll change this to descending order. Uh, so this custom sorting works for any of the dimension fields that you have. So there isn't an option to do the sorting for the athlete counter here. However, there is actually an option to change the sort of the region, which I'm using as the color. So here again, I can just change that sort order. Uh, so rather than going in the order that is in the table, I could do it in alphabetical order. And I can also change that ascending and descending. I'll just go to the output stage now just so we can see the final product. Here we can see our chart which is in the sort order that we chose in the chart builder. And my table of data is actually still in my original sort order using its org reference code. For more helpful tips please see our other videos.